I know what you guys are thinking. Boy, if that ain't the ugliest chop job of a of a uh, recoil pad install. And I agree, it looks crappy. But what we're in, installing on this is the Packmire recoil pad. This is the deluxe field small. And these are made to uh, grind to fit. <clears throat> Look, it has a outline of where you can put it on the stock and grind it down. But I figured I would show you how we uh, got that all together. So let me throw this thing in the stock, stock in the vise, and then we'll get going. All right. Basically, what we did is we cut our stock off and we took and filed it all down with some file wrapped in sandpaper. Got it all perfectly flat. What we did is we just took a regular straight edge and we measured and got the center of the stock and then drew us a scribe line right down through the center of the stock. It's not pretty but it'll be under the butt pad. Um and what you want to do is if you look, these don't you can see it where I've put it on and took it off. But um these are flat they don't actually have access holes so what I did was I just took a really fine punch like this and just pushed up you can take a little razor knife and cut it or I just I just actually took and pushed this through to uh, mark my hole and then I took a center punch just a spring loaded center punch and I put this up here just where I wanted it and that would give me access to go through the hole and put my mark on the stock got it centered up exactly where I wanted it made sure I had the correct spacing all the way around it for it has room to be ground because you do have to grind these down to fit the uh, stock and then all I did was I took the screw and mounted it back on there and left it uh, snug but not too snug you know snug it down but I didn't he-man tighten it uh, you do once you make the center mark you just take a little small drill bit I think I used a little small 1 8 drill bit it says in the information when you buy the pad what size and I just where I had my uh, center punch marked through the recoil pad I just drilled into that and then I took the uh, screws put a little dawn dish liquid in there and just turned them in on just on the top side so once I put the uh, screw in there and tightened it all the way down where I wanted that would still give me room to uh, turn the pad and I could actually turn this over and line it up exactly the angle I wanted it to where it would be centered on the stock itself I could turn it and then I could just take my center punch and go through the hole on the bottom side and mark out my bottom where I exactly wanted it and then I repeated it and just drilled out that um, screw hole again put a little Dawn dish liquid on there it just helps cut the screw holes and also keeps you from tearing up your pad this one's for a video so it ain't no big deal but basically you can just start your screws and as you'll see it will pull
your screw into the butt pad. And then once you have your top screw into place, that'll give you the right angle. You can center it up perfectly to where it's right in the middle. You can see that. And then you can take your center punch and mark the other hole. That just gives you the ability to move it around and get everything lined up perfectly. I think that'll work out really well because then I can just take and grind all of this area down to match up with the stock so that's a big problem with these uh all these stocks is none of these are the right exact size you're always gonna have to shape them that's why I like to do the grind to fit if not you have a big piece of rubber hanging off the toe or whatever so we'll put our screws into that and take it to the grinder I mean the sand belt sander and send it all down make it all one unit alright we got our recoil pad put on it's got just enough material over the top that we should be able to pull down because all this is just a plate going so short on this stock it's kind of hard to get a recoil pad to fit it so we're going to grind that down and then make sure everything's fitted up nice and then refinish the stock 